So I was just on my podcast and my producers told me that Kim and Croy, uh, Kim Zolciak and Croy are getting divorced. And I've heard all the rumors about the foreclosure. And I thought to myself, marriage is hard enough. Bringing other people into your life and highlighting it for years on TV. I did it for a short time and I paid the price. And I took it like a champ when I was scrutinized and, you know, they go with you in when it's happy and everything looks great and everyone's coming with you when it goes down to the abyss in the shit pit, slumdog millionaire style. So they invited us into this life and they've always been people who seem like they're spending more than they have. He's on a football salary. She's on a housewife's salary and they're spending like the fucking planes going down. And the thing is, you can't spend more than you make. And it's the old housewives model to get on the show, make no money, spend, spend, logo, logo, car, car, house, house, bankruptcy, foreclosure, because you can't fucking keep up. You're writing checks you can't cash. And it's gross. It's like what's wrong with America. When the whole real estate bubble crashed, um, that was because people were just, just financing their houses and the whole thing imploded. And I heard Kim and Croy owe a million dollars each. And it's like, good, pay the IRS. You got to fucking pay. You want to play? You got to fucking pay. And, you know, all these couples that bring everybody into every single detail, like they're perfect. It's a recipe for disaster also. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan, and then he's cheating. And it's Adam Levine and his wife. Everyone gets humbled real quick. So these two, you know, we're so perfect and we're so in love and we have all this money and we're spending and the diamonds and the this and the filters and the kids and everything. And then when the shit goes sideways, you invited us in when it was going good and it looked like a fairy tale or made us believe it was. Well, guess what? We're, go we're coming out with you too. So no one's going to fucking respect your privacy at this time because there is no privacy at this time. And I just, I think I get particularly lit when people spend what they don't have. It's like fucking up the whole system. It's like fucking with the IRS. Like you pay your goddamn bills, right? I never spent a goddamn dime until I made money. Like never. I couldn't afford a taxi. I would pray that someone would buy me a drink. Like I never spent a fucking penny. I was terrified. I was on the cover of Forbes and called my business manager to ask if I could buy a handbag the first time. I was always terrified because you don't spend money. You don't fucking have. My apartment was furnished by Ikea. When I was on the Housewives in New York, I didn't have it, so I didn't pretend I had it. Fucking hate all show and no go. I hate fronting and stunting. Pay your fucking bills. That's all I have to say. Pay your fucking bills.